Hi, I'm Amy, a Help Desk Technology Support Specialist here in the Department of Technology. And I'm here today to share with you how to request support when you're having issues with your technology in the district. I seem to be having issues with this projector, so I'm going to come to my computer and open a Help Desk ticket. Whether you're a student, staff member, or teacher, anyone from any computer in the district can open a Help Desk ticket. First, let's navigate to the application portal. To do so, simply scroll down the Park Hill homepage and click Application Portal. Or, if you prefer, go to the address bar and type in portal.parkhill.k12.mo.us. Here you will enter your district username and password. Next, click the gray Help Desk icon. You will again need to enter your username and password, and then select Login. There are two types of requests for service you can submit in the Help Desk system. The first, Submit an Incident, should be selected if you are experiencing a technical problem with a system that is already in use at your location. The second, Submit a Request, should be used if you need to use a program or service you haven't previously had access to or would like to purchase. Most of the time, if there's a problem, you'll be using the Submit an Incident button. This form is where you enter the ticket information. Begin by selecting the building the incident occurred in, then fill in the room number where it occurred or where the device can be found most often. Next, select Categories and Subcategories to better describe your situation. Being more specific in this area will help route your request to the correct technician as quickly as possible. Try to be as specific as possible about the problem and be sure to list any error messages you see. In our example, I might report something like this. If you aren't sure what to put here, just give us as much information as you can and we'll contact you if we need more in order to diagnose the issue. The final box allows you to assign an urgency status to the incident. The emergency and high priority options should be chosen if the issue needs immediate attention because it is affecting student learning or productivity. Normal should be chosen if the issue can be delayed without an impact on student learning. Low should be chosen if normal work can continue until the issue is resolved. Finally, click Submit. Once the confirmation screen pops up, you'll be assigned a ticket number via email. That way you'll know the ticket has arrived here at the help desk. Our technology support specialists are constantly reviewing tickets that come into the department. We ensure your ticket is assigned to the right specialist for your issue, and you'll receive emails to keep you updated as we work to resolve the problem. We might send a specialist to your location, or if needed, we can correct the issue remotely. If you would like to follow up on the status of your ticket, you can open up the ticket by going to the portal and the Help Desk website as you did when you opened the ticket. Simply select View Your Service History. Here, you will find record of all tickets you've submitted and the status of the request. You can also call Extension 5000 Option 1 and speak with a Technology Support Specialist if you're unable to use the online Help Desk system. We hope you've enjoyed our video from the Department of Technology and we look forward to serving your technology needs this year and many years to come.